Welcome back everyone to another playthrough of Crusader Kings 3. I'm Nanashi and with me again as, as always Mr. McGuffin. Uh, we are now on episode 11. It's quite a long journey we've had. Uh, and last time I didn't really do much actually in terms of what I was uh, in terms of expansion. I kind of just laid low. We recently went on a, I believe, the Fourth Crusade, uh, which was uh, called by the Pope again, um, and also the Third Crusade for Syria, which did not end well for us, as always. Uh, we did try our best. Uh, we just didn't have the organization, or I should say the AI didn't have the organization to push the capital of Odessa to take from Syria, or to form Syria. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for updates on my end. How about you, Mr. McGuffin? Well, uh, last we left off, I just made myself Emperor of Champagne, empire that includes parts of France, Aquitaine, the Holy Roman Empire, and Castile for some reason. Um, and we were also like on a big infrastructure plan that I hope to continue, as well as some wars. And I think I'm going to um, get back to it. I don't know if you are... What are your plans right now, Nanashi? What, uh, what are you going to do next? Well, let's see what we have. Right now, I am... Well, I have my money back up because I'm rich again, which is a good thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. I mean, right now, I just realized that I'm in a holy war for the Duchy of Barcelona, but that's because... Um, province called me into the war with them um mm. i think i'm gonna have to invite some knights as well yeah and duke duke gerard or gerard gerald of Brittany also joined the war um i think we're winning the war though uh we're at where are we at we're at plus nine percent right now um i might help them out in this war to be honest because even though i need to help my allies um, yeah, I think I might help them out in this war. I have seven. I have 7,600 troops. So, I know I wanted to invade Navarra, which is uh, owned by... Uh, what is it? She is one of my family members, I think. Well, she's so far apart that... Um, in, like, as far as blood goes... Yeah, she's so far apart as far as blood goes that... I won't really... I don't really care about her... <laughs> as bad as that sounds, so um, I know, I know. Uh, I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh, Bohemia. Was it Bohemia? I think Bohemia was Bohemia, or one of these countries over here. I know one of my relatives was in charge, but it could have got dismantled at this point. So, right. Meanwhile, I'm doing some other stuff. I'm arranging some marriages, and I'm. Changing the fascination because we are, I think, one technology away from being able to uh, unlock late medieval and therefore primogeniture, which would uh, avoid empire nice. divisions. So... Because right now, my succession law, uh, yeah, I will lost uh, the kingdom of Italy and Aquitaine. Mm -hmm. Well, I would not lose them. They will still be inside the empire of champagne but still oh yeah so 50 percent what's 50 so we need to lock at least 50 so missing six i need six more i'm i'm researching trebuchets then i might go for so i have land grants divine right heraldry banking um so six plus four that's 14 so seven so i need so one two three four so i'm reaching trebuchet that'd be five so then two more after that and then i would be able to get to late medieval and also get primogeniture because i want that um i don't know what i want to go after trebuchets i could go for windmills and increase my taxes even though i'm making a lot of money um i could also go for like let's see i could go for Maybe hoardings or castle baileys, to, you know, for more, uh, mil you know, mid late medieval or high medieval era buildings. I could go knighthood. You're, you're trying to research technology. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm just going for the one that is more advanced so I can just unlock primogen primogenitor in less than a... I don't think I'm gonna do it before a decade, but the sooner the better. The only way that's gonna happen is if you have high learning, and thank goodness I have. My character has high uh, learning. No, my son has very little learning. My son is very disappointing, actually. I hate yeah. him. Yeah, I have 22 learning. Very excellent, which is why our thing... Oh, they're gone. Our research yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna fast track that. Alright, shall we un unpause the game? Yeah. Alright. The game is unpaused. I'm raising my armies right now. We're gonna... Oh, oh, that hurts looking at the minus minus income right now because I raised my army. Because I'm trying to help out um, province. Even though they don't really need my help, but I want to get some wars for it. Why not? Who's the current ruler of Castile? King Hyman the second of Castile? Oh god. Alright, meanwhile we're in war against Angoulême and against uh, Poitou. Because, you know, we want to uh, alleviate some of the border gore here. You can, you know you can always change your crown if you want. And you can always change your wife's look if you don't like it. Um, if she wants to be bold, she can be bold. Although my children are bold as well. Like, both of my youngest princesses are bold for some reason. Is my... I mean, I guess I love them anyway, but still. Is my succession... Okay, so I have hard partition, and so nothing's gonna... My primary heir is gonna get pretty much everything. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna get everything. My primary heir is sadistic, which is not very good, so that makes him very sinful. Um, he's also greedy and arrogant, but he is a crusader, which is great, and an inspiring, inspiring blade master and astute intellectual. So he is also really good at learning. Um, however, it's very disappointing. Sorry, what were you saying, Nanaji? My primary heir. He is sadistic, arrogant, and greedy, but he is a crusader, aspiring blade master, and astute intellectual. So he has good prowess and learning, but he's very, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um. Oh, it's a betrothal. Oh yeah, sure. Sorry, I thought you sent me a. A proposal, a... a marriage proposal. Did I send you a betrothal? No, you didn't. I oh. thought you did, but I, I was I was mistaken. Sorry. Did we lose a battle? Oh no, they didn't. They're just marching. Just for Barcelona. They want this little piece of... Oh, wait, not Barcelona. They want... What do they want? What is the Holy War for? They want... Oh, yeah. They want the Duchy of Barcelona. Just for that little Duchy title in Barcelona. They could have gone for... They could have gone Who for wants more. Barcelona? Why are they... Barcelona is part of my kingdom. My empire, I mean. Why do they want Barcelona? It's a Holy War for the Duchy of Barcelona. Am I part of it? Am I defending Barcelona? No, you're not. You're not. Uh, it's just me, the Duke of Brittany, and the uh, province. I don't know why I'm not involved. I, it seems like I should be involved, right? Well, yeah. I mean, province was the one who started the Holy War. And then Duke, the Duke of Brittany is the one who actually owns the county of Barcelona. So I'm assuming that their allies and that <laughs> they, they, one is trying to get the duchy title for the other. That's what I'm going to assume. Oh. Probably, yeah, probably something like that. Oh no, one of my consoles died. Ah, and it was a wood one as well. So my, Dang it. Uh, my second son became an intricate web, uh, web weaver. Very nice. 
very good at intrigue. Construct a new city. I just spent 400 gold to construct a new city. <laughs> Wonderful. Sometimes, you know, when you're making so much gold, you gotta do make use of it, you know? Yeah, I, I'm just spending a lot of money on several construction projects. Confident knight. It's so weird, because you have this little, like, independent earldom in England. The earldom of Berkshire. And I'm surprised that England hasn't, like, asked him to swear fealty to him. King oh Walter no, my spy be... master died as well. It's very interesting. Okay. I think a generation of people here is going is, is dying off. Mm -hmm. Prisoner taken siege, very nice. I can ransom him. Oh, I took Prince Muyahid Ibn Sad of the Dunanid Sultanate. So I took the the the, sh the sultan's son, I think, right? No, his brother. I took his brother. Okay. I can ransom him. Yes, I will ransom you for fifty gold. My character now has iron constitution. He is athletic. He's an athletic herbalist. Iron con has iron constitution and constant care. Vassals I have? I have 11 vassals, so I have Duke of Gwynedd, Leinster, Ulster, Mief, Powys, wait, Powys, oh yeah, yeah, Munster, Iceland, of Island of, Isle of Man, the Lord of Brickenyog, the Baron of Athenry, and the Mayor of Avertaw. His son is him. His son can't arrange marriage. Alliance expired. Harold the second Weiss Lincoln has died of Mercia. Well that's unfortunate. So I think I just killed someone. Um, is that a good or bad thing? <laughs> Alright, my plans are coming to fruition now. I can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Well, if you were the Duke of Mercia, that's not a good thing for you because now you're dead. Oh, no, no, I was not. So, I mean, it's a good yeah. thing. So basically what I did was mm, I arranged a, a betrothal between one of my grandsons, the ugly Duke, I think, and the sister of the Duke of Mercia was in line to inherit so I murdered him so now my grandson is my is betrothed to the Duchess of Mercia mm -hmm. so yeah my dynasty is extending its tendrils amongst the islands because you see Nanaji the island seems so so tempting no thank you I'd rather not Oh, but they seem so, so tasty. No. No, no, no. I'm gonna run out of things to conquer in Europe eventually, you know. No, I doubt it. Look at all that land you have to the but, east of you. But some of those things are so far away from Troy, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, Napoleon in uh, the future would have would have disagreed with you. <laughs> well, maybe. The thing is, I've I've always wanted a seaside view, Nanaji. No, 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 no. You stay, you stay there. You stay there. If not, we are gonna create a coalition of Ireland, England, and Scotland, and we're gonna fight you. Seven thousand plus fourteen thousand plus another. So fourteen plus fourteen thousand. So All right. twenty-eight thousand um, troops. Right. I well. Mm, 
So the Duchess Matilda of Mercia, now now just of Mercia, of Mercia, just called me to into a war. Ah. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to go and help. Defending, I she's guess. Def what? She's defending against. I get, she's offended to hold her title, so I'm very interested in, it's only, in that she... It's only 8,000 troops. How many troops does she have? Does she not have a lot? Oh, she only has 4,000. Oh, she does need help. Yeah, so I'm gonna... I, I'm really interested that she... Against the Earl of Northamptonshire? Interesting. See, we don't have that problem here in Ireland, you see? Or very, very, very... Unlikely do we have this problem. So they're at war against whom? Oh, it's like one of Inter one of her vassals. vassals. Yeah. Earl, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna kick their asses because I have a long time investment. You know, I just realized Ulster has a ton of land. The Duke of Ulster, he has the he has Duchy of Ulster, the Earldom of Oriel, Earldom of Ulster, Earldom of Aelic, and the Earldom of Mayo, and he has three vassals, one of them being the Countess of Brifni. Um, wow. Quite interesting. And then I own this little tiny petty kingdom of Konath and Earldom of Uimain. Miaf owns... What does he own? He owns the Earldom of Dublin, and he has the Earl of Athlone as his, I guess, vassal. Duke of Leinster has the Earldom of Leinster and Thomond, and he has the Earldom of Oser, the Earl of Ossery as his, um, <laughs> vassal. Oh, he's 35 and has no children? He's married to a 62-year-old? Come on, man. Your heir, your primary heir is your sister? Oh, that's not good. And she doesn't even have kids either. So then, your other sister would have to be, because she has kids. Interesting. And then the Duke of Munster has both the county of, or the Earl. He has the Earldom of Desmond, and then the Earl of Or. The, yeah, the Countess of Ormond is his vassal. Wait, why is that your primary heir? I'm so confused. I, I'm gonna pause the game, or did, was I the one who paused it, or you? you I think it was me. It. Yeah, because I was, yeah, I was giving some titles away. Oh my, the Duke of Munster's a dwarf. And then she's oh, well. a duchess, so she owns that. We're gonna have to take this from England to the Isle of Man. What's about Iceland? How's Iceland looking? Okay, okay. Iceland looking good, looking good. Siege one, we got some more money out of that. Is this war gonna be over yet? We're at 60% war score. Like, can we, like, can you, like, enforce the mans already? Like, come on. We're kicking their ass in this holy war. And you're at war with. Uh, oh, I'm gonna increase the speed to two. Was it. You mean three? Oh, yeah, three. Are you. Who are you at war with? You're at war with. And you're at war with. Okay, so that's the only war you're at. I thought. Okay. Yeah, I, I was at war against Poitou and Angoulême. So but Honest, not anymore. So you, have on, you have this small county of Honest and Black that are just sitting there. What the. The Holy Roman Empire has this like small land in like France. It's so odd. And I don't like the fact that they have small land in like Scotland. That just does not sit right with me, if you know what I mean. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire that has land in Alba? Yeah, it does not sit right with me. Well, yeah. It's understandable. Understandable. What's your understandable. development like? Mine's at 24. Um, how do I see that? You just click on the county and you, yeah, you click on the county and you look at whether, um, whether development 24. Okay, so you're you're the same as me. Okay. Yeah. So I probably should increase that. 
somehow. I'm not sure how. You use but your you use your steward, your steward to increase development in the county and <gasps> excuse me. What does the development do? Development? It usually so development helps with increasing your levies and your taxes and your supply limit. So the hot, the more developed your county is, the more money people will pay you, the more soldiers you can get, and the more supply you get. So when you go to war, you have more su supply, which is why, probably why, whenever you go to war, you're like, oh, I don't have any supply, and when I land, there's nothing, because you don't have, you can't support twenty six thousand troops with a development of only twenty four. Whereas yeah, me, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him to. Increase the development then. Where, whereas me, I can pretty much s support a good amount of troops with that. So maybe the main focus is going to give me more events towards development. The main focus helps a lot with money and development of your your yeah. Your yeah, I'm gonna pick that one. All right, I'm gonna unpause because I'm in the middle of a war and I want this war to be over soon enough. Oh yeah, I want my war to be over. Even though uh, it's fun. Well, I, I wish you the best in your war, Nanaji. Well, it's not even my war. It's technically their war, but it's just fun in conquering them. I'm just, I'm just telling you that I'm getting involved in, in some British Isle politics right now, quite actively, actually. Am I allied with someone in the British? I don't think so. No, I'm not. Nope, I am. The Duchess of Mercy is also my ally. So we're allied to the same person. I'm also allied with somebody in Swabia, which is in the Holy Roman Empire. I'm also All right. Uh, I think I can now search. No, I cannot research primogeniture. I'm not in the late medieval era. You gotta wait. Oh, it's in six years. Yeah, we gotta wait. We're not quite there oh. yet. Oh. We need quite... to wait anyways. All right. I guess I'm gonna be fascinated by guilds now. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, buddy. <laughs> take, take your time. Oh, dear God. I was I was itching for it. I was so, so ready. Man, my, my children are very brawny pe people. Like, my first son, very, like, brawny. Second son, he's average. But my third son is also very brawny. Like, they have, like, very broad shoulders and chests. <laughs> Well, um, good for you, I guess. Because my king himself is not even that brawny, which is quite interesting. Wait, are all my children from the same wife? Yeah, oh my god. My wife had seven children. And she had mostly sons. Two daughters and five sons. My aunt was taken prisoner. Oof. Oof, man. Oh. Oh, my cousin Did was I taken took prisoner. your wife as prisoner? I mean, your aunt? And Mercia took my aunt and my cousin prisoner. And my other oh. and my other cousin is blind. Oh, man. Oh, no. What have I done? Well, I mean, they're my cousin. It's okay. <laughs> well. It's not, like it will, it's not like it was me or anything. My dynasty is so huge at this point. Like, I have so many different cadet branch houses. Like, like it's ridiculous. I mean, they're not really filled up. So, like, the Lord of Daivet, Lord of Seradigion, Duke of Powis, Duke of Miaf, the Duke of Ult Outer Jordan. They're all branch houses. Like, there's so many branch houses. It's ridiculous. Oh, in my case, there's so many branch houses as well. But the thing is, my renown is, like... We are still just going to be significant because we're still like un yeah. completely unknown, and yours had a little bit of more prestige. And then, so. and then there's me. I'm the dynasty head and house head, and then who else? The our house Argyll, which is the Duchess of Man, is also a cadet branch technically. There, but we're so far apart in relations that it it wouldn't really be inbreeding. Um, who else? Uh, the Earl of Mearns, House Lorn also has a cadet branch and they're so far apart in um, pretty much in in uh, Scotland or Alba that it wouldn't be considered inbreeding at this point 
Um, also, someone's trying to assassinate my daughter, my firstborn daughter, for some reason. Um, not sure if it's because she's comely. That could have a factor into it. Um, I can lawfully imprison my son for what? Oh, cause he's sinful. That's why. That makes sense. My other son, my my third son. What is this? To call the war. My brother-in-law called me the war. Wait, against you. What are you doing? I'm trying to conquer Languedoc. You can't just ask them to swear fealty. Hmm. I prefer to handle my duchess myself. Yes, but I would. My nephew's on the. He would be in line to to be, to acquire it. Well, it's too late now. You you can try and protect your family. I'm going to oh, Nanaji. I'm, I'm going to join the war, but I'm not going to do anything oh, about Nanaji, it. Oh, Nanaji, what have you done? I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to do anything about it because I'm stuck in this holy war. I'm going to fight in this holy war. You can do whatever you want, but I'm mm. going to fight this. I'm going to siege the Irish capital. Then I think. You do that, this game will end, and then I won't have anything to do. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I really don't... Who wants Ireland anyway? Who wants who wants filthy Irish people with their potatoes? No I'm not that. going to say that. You're the one saying that. <laughs> I love Irish culture. Culture. Uh -huh. you don't, I don't think you love them as much as I do. I love them enough to conquer them. <laughs> that Why sounds very British, actually. <laughs> Why? Wow, I'm lose I went from like 7,000 troops to 3,600. 3, this siege is like killing my troops. It must must be a very hard fort to take. Goodness oh. gracious. Oh, there it is. What is there? I'm gonna reduce the speed a little bit because I need to micro micromanage something. That's fine. I'm gonna go back to Ireland and sell back because the Holy War is over. Province took a chunk, a huge chunk. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what is this? My marshal probably with a driven smile. Uh, reduced. Says, I would appreciate if we could renegotiate my contract, my hiking. Any improvement would, of course, let be met with from my treasury or my land. My treasury could need a refill, that's for sure. Reduces his few tax to you, but pays 90 to me. You'll find no deal here. I have it. I have been interested in alliance. Your feudal taxes to you are reduced. You get the Earl of Leinster. Wait, hold on. So is he saying that? Oh, so in. So if I, if I reduce the taxes on him, then he'll give me the earldom of Leinster. That's interesting. That's an interesting trade. So you don't want you want me to modify our contract, but you want to give me a piece of land. I don't understand. But then I can just reduce his taxes, and then he'll pay me 90 gold. I will reduce taxes, and he'll pay me 90 gold. Why not? Hmm. That's a different decision than I, I would have taken. Well, there's he's the Duke of Leinster. There's no point in Turkey taking the county of it. He needs to hold the county. Like, imagine being the Duke of something, and you don't even own the county. That's just so, so weird, don't you think? Well, I mean, they will have no titles then, right? Uh, no. You can still be a duke just because he has he has the other counties. He just wouldn't have that county. You can give that county to someone that you appreciate more. Yeah, but then he'll just vassalize them. So I don't feel I I I, I don't want that to happen. Oh well. Well, I can see some some of your troops around here. Yeah, that's from the Holy War, and we lost hmm. a, we lost a lot of troops. We went from seventy six hundred to twenty nine hundred because that stupid that stupid well, fort. Well, well, well. That fort that we were taking taking was, I guess, it's it was level fourteen, so it was very hard to take, unfortunately. Which is fine. It's fine. Oh, you're running away. Yeah. Why would I stay? I'm so sorry for teasing you so much, Nanazi. We're not gonna. Going to set sail for home because these filthy lands owned by you and the dirty Spanish are not, not where I want to be. 
Why is it taking mm. forever? Maybe to... we can start the Reconquista. I still need to think my plans Wait, ahead. Wait, hold on. Oh, yes. Our 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 Magnic is, is allied to Armagnac. The... Yeah. Armagnac is uh allied to Languedoc, right? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, why are you why are you attacking them? They've done that. Um. Oh. I won the war. Uh, All right. Yep. And now there it's we go. Of, now it's a part of province. Um. Which is still allied so... to me, which is interesting. Why are they still allied to me? Who are you? Why are we still allies? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Wait. What? What do you mean we're allies? I have no idea who you are. Oh, okay. Now I see. Between Prince, who is it? Between Prince Mo Monarch, which is which Prince is that? That's my third son. I'm not giving them any time to rest. That's my third son. So my third son is betrothed to. Oh no, his betrothal has consumption. Oh, oh no, oh no. Well, you bet. Well, geez, okay. That's un unfortunate. Well, Armagnac is now going to be part of my kingdom, so. Why am I? S why do I have stress? Do I want to work off the stress? I get sweaty stench for one year. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. My daughter's a drunkard, that's hilarious. Can educate a child. Alright, I'm gonna unpause the game, by the way. Mm -hmm. I was just looking if I had new counties, but apparently I don't. Sadly. But anyway, my empire is expanding, so I'm gonna unpause the game. Who is this man? Oh, my steward. Actually, let me pause real quick. My steward is 67. I can ask him to take his vows and he can become a monk. He won't like me for it. But, but you know, you're fine. I think you're fine. Um, he had one daughter. That was about it. That's fine. Um, I have a lot of children though in my court that like, like mostly like my grandchildren and stuff like that. Why oh, I have not looked at my court in quite some time actually. I have not micromanaged my court so much anymore. You should definitely take a look at that. I have many grandsons and grandchildren. Who can keep up with that? Mm -hmm. I just know that one of my ugly grandsons, who is betrothed to the Duchess of Mercia, is now in line to inherit as well um, the Duchy of Aquitaine. So yeah, he's going to be a very powerful duke. The ugly Blois. Well, that's not quite nice. No, he's actually ugly. He's a trade. He has like a frog on his physical trade thing. <laughs> I know you can go to Mercia and see the betrothal. I know, like, one of these, one of these people are. Let me see. Okay. A lot of my gr a lot of my children are handsome, intelligent, or comely. Like. <laughs> Do you want me to unpause, or are you still... Please. Uh... No, no, no. I just said you were going to um, pause. I just... I'm just, you know, uh, declaring war on Armagnac, because I want this beautiful mountainside view that Armagnac has on the Pyrenees. Beautiful mountainside. Yeah, beautiful mountains, of course. Mm -hmm. Also, I already softened them up after that last war, so I'm sure they're not going to give up that much of uh, resistance. Beneficial deal. Building construction costs. Very nice. Okay, so 
feudal contract. What is the feudal contract? So low feudal taxes. Okay. So you're getting low feudal taxes. Should I have some armored horseman regiment? Armored horseman. I would get armored horseman. Anything armored. Right. I, anything that's armored, I would get. Because armored makes the quality of your troops go up. Like, right like right now, my quality is... I'm, I'm spending a lot of money increasing the size of things. So I, Yeah, I don't... Yeah, like, right now, I only have light horsemen. But I want to get... Um, I want to get... Armored horsemen, but they cost two hundred gold per. Uh, a, uh, yeah, so I'm I'm on a regiment. spending spree, increasing my military. Yeah, and then like, I have what else? Like, yeah, I do have armored footmen and regular light footmen, which is good. Pikemen, bowmen, so all that. Stuff. Yeah, so I can increase the size of my uh, regiments to like twelve now. King Godfrey of Lotharingia. Oh, wow. Oh, he's part of the Holy Roman Empire, but he's a king. Okay. He's Franconian. Ah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm allied with the kingdom of God Lotharingia now. He's a winter soldier. Interesting. Um, da, 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 da. I'm trying to see what's going on in terms of micromanagement stuff. Still is uh, slowly getting more their land in Spain back. Slowly. Who are they at war with? Ah, they're fighting Castile in another holy war. Interesting. I can also create the title of the Kingdom of Wells and Duchy of Dehubar, but until I don't want to create any more titles until I get um what do you call it? You know um. Until I get the primogeniture uh, thing. Trebuchets. I have five more years before trebuchets are done, and I really want them so I can speed up the siege process. <laughs> uh, do you want to increase the speed of the game? No, I want to increase the, the speed process of me researching trebuchets. But that's not going to happen, because I'm already at my max capacity. Alright. Uh, I won another war. Hmm. 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 This seems very tempting. Wait, is he gluttonous? Oh, he is gluttonous. I wonder why he's so big. My half-brother. My half-brother who founded his own dynasty, because he's a Bastard child. Bastard founder. With his frickin' bastard children. <laughs> that sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It kinda does, yeah. Hmm. So, what should I conquer next? This is a good question. I think I'm gonna conquer Genoa. Where's uh? Would that is Genoa like near Switzerland? Uh, no, it's on the um, next to Provence in the northern Italy, looking uh, to the Mediterranean, right over uh, Corsica. I think it's the island. Oh, oh, Italy, Italy. That's right. Yeah, it's yeah. Italy. Genoa. Gotcha. <laughs> the little, the little duke over there. Yeah. You're moving. You're I like... think I think the big one is Sicily, then this is Corsica, and the middle one is Sardinia, but I could be wrong. The... Wait, the Countess of Brefni was imprisoned by the Duke, the Duke of Ulster for what? Oh, because she's a adulterer. Gotcha. Who's my physician again? 
again. Ah, this man, and he's also my friend. He's a good physician, though. He's a uh, he's a he's a pretty good physician because he has thirty three learning. Like I wish I had thirty three learning. Oh my god, that's very good. As much as I, w all my children suck this time around. Like they're not as good as my, like how I've been making them. Like like I told you, my first son was pretty bad. He's sadistic, arrogant, and greedy. And then my second son, he's arbitrary, patient, and generous. Well, the generous part is okay, but the other two is eh. And then it's funny because he's patient. I guess patient goes along with the w intricate web weaver, right? You gotta be pa patient, but he's arbitrary. And then my third son, he's calm, gluttonous, and shy. Like, the only one that's really good that I really like, because I'm the one educating him, is my fourth son. He's brave, just, and pensive. And my, my last son, my fifth son, he's forgiving and curious so far. Like those are the like my last two sons are the only ones that are actually good, but everybody else suck. Like even my firstborn daughter, she's patient, cynical, craven. My second daughter, she's temperate, zealous, and craven as well. Like and she's a drunkard, she drinks a lot. So look at you, look at that empire of champagne just going into Italy. Yeah. I don't think the papacy will like that very much. Well, I have 32,000 reasons why I don't care. And then the Holy Roman Empire. It's funny because there's two empires next to each other. The Holy Roman Empire and the Empire of Champagne. All right. We won that war. I'm surprised that you haven't taken out the rest of France. Even though they're all, there's only 5,100 troops and they have no allies, like, what is stopping you from taking the last two, the last two counties in over there? Um, it's more than two counties. You know what? You're right. I probably should do that next. Well, well no, I'm gonna give them a time to. They have so the king has the barony of Air, the county of Lille, the county of Bruges, county of Yperen, Duchy of Flanders, kingdom of France. He has. The Count of Gwynn's and the Count of Sable as pretty much his only vassals. And England, look at England. You're not even allied to England and they have a foothold in France as well. In Normandy, pretty much. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna wait a few months to make some money back and to let my uh, troops increase even more. And then, well, Take we'll see. Man, my king. <laughs> so my kings, my my line of kings have like, I look at my line of kings and they've all had really long beards except for the first one who had a, just a goatee. <laughs> okay, what's the development like? Okay, we're almost got scootage because it's about fifteen months. Hmm. Okay, then trebuchet is about five more. It's eighty percent. Okay. Hobbies. What's hobbies? Oh, hobblers. What are hobblers? They are riders on our Celtic hobby horses, fast and agile, perfect for scouting and raiding in rough terrain where enemy knights are loath to go. Huh. Specific to my faction. Interesting. Or my culture. We haven't finished chronicle writing in early medieval. Jeez. I'm going to con conquer the two little counties that you were saying that were in, uh, like in the middle of France. I mean, yeah, county of Maine and the what is this? What would this be Flanders? I think. Uh, um, no, they're like in the middle. It's Belac and um, Oni. Oh, those overlooking are... the Bay of Biscay. Yeah.
So yeah, basically this is like a little bit of a house cleanup. <laughs> um Can I go oh. to I could go to war with Scotland over my claims. I would, what would I gain though? What, I would gain the Mormon of Galloway. Alright. I'm gonna unpause by the way. The city of Sequir. My child of my dynasty. My kinwoman gave birth to a son. Very nice. Alba. How many troops does Alba have? They have 7,700 with... Yeah, they have a total of 7,700. Uh, that would be a dirty war. I don't want it. Uh, over what? The Galloway? That's it? Is it even worth it at that point? <laughs> to take it? But only... What are you talking about, Nanaji? Sorry? I'm taking... I'm... I want... I have... I can declare war on Alba for this small... Earl them, and I don't think it's worth it because our troops. I barely have more more troops than them. I mean, I have a lot of allies, but still. Oh, eight four hundred. Yeah, because they have seventy eight hundred. I have eighty four hundred. Hmm. I could also buy indulgences if once I become my son, who is sinful, and we can hopefully get rid of sadistic trait, but we'll see what happens. We're not quite there yet. Not quite there. Man, always gotta increase control. You know what? I'm not gonna increase control in these two counties. They can, they can do it themselves. Yeah, you guys will do it yourselves. I'm not gonna do it for you. Not this time. Thirty-three thousand troops. How much does the Holy Roman Empire have? They only have twenty-five thousand, which means, in theoretically, you could pretty much kick their buttocks. I know. Yeah. I feel so powerful and energy. Yeah, it's because look at all that land you have. Just, well, it's just so. I just see blue. So much blue. blue. I only see blue. Like the new passports of the British, of the Great Britain. And they can pick now their new blue passports. Blue. Blue everywhere. So, wait, your level of fame would have to be exalted. So, in order to found a new empire. Yeah, I, I am exalted amongst men. Yeah, I'm so the highest one. Yeah, level 4. And then your realm size is 120 or more. And you have to have 3 or more kingdoms. That makes sense. Your realm size is 80 or more. Yeah. Wait, so you have to have all of these. So you have to realm size 80. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense because your realm size has to be 120 or more anyways. Um, is, now, is this 120 counties total? It took a lot, a lot of effort to do what I did. So it's it's a it's 120 uh, counties total, right? I think it was something like that. Yeah, it was very high. I'm number. only at 29. <laughs> well, oh my dear fellow. Well, I say fellow, being quite generous with the term because you know I'm an emperor. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm giving so much black. Wait, Leinster and Mia are going to war over what? Defending against them in the claim on the Earldom of Dublin. Jeez, dude. Guys, no more fighting. Stop vassal war. The man. Ah, he did obey me. Look at that. He obeyed me. Wow. Someone who finally obeyed me when I told him to stop the war. No fight, no infighting between you guys. We don't want any infighting. 
We are Irishmen. We're not like the filthy French champagners over there who fight amongst themselves for small land. Wait, who's your main heir? Prince Falqua? Is that how you say it? Falqua of Champagne? Sorry? Your heir is Prince Falqua of Champagne. He's robust, meet his touch, greedy, arbitrary, and zealous. Yeah, but he's very disappointing as well. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I know a war against I don't know someone mm. somewhere someone very far away apparently mm -hmm. so I'm a war for the Sheikhdom of Damietta which is in the northern Egypt Jesus let me see this so who's attacking Duchy of Gavir and it's you and the Duchess of Austria versus. <laughs> Dear God, I don't care about that war. Well, he only has like. Wait, how... he has 600 troops, but who's his liege? They oh. don't have a liege. Yeah, 600... that's weird. He has 600 troops. 600... Well, I'm, I'm not gonna send my troops over there. I don't six... care. Four, you guys have a coalition of like 40 something. Th you have 43,000 versus 600 troops. That's not even a war, that's a massacre. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna gain any territory out of that war, so I'm not interested. I could have swore Egypt was bigger than that. Oh, it looks like a lot of the. Uh... They have lost a lot to the Byzantine Empire. Well, not only that, but a lot of the, the territories in the Middle East have broken up. Like, they're no longer, like, a big, um, you know, like, a big thing. A lot of them broke up smaller, kind of, their own, like, sultanates and, then, like, empires, like, or nations. Look at that. Yeah, it seems that they are out of some kind of civil war as well, because they are just now rebuilding their troops. Mm -hmm. And here, I, I wish my ally the best, but I'm not interested in going over there. And meanwhile, the Kingdom of Jerusalem is still standing... <laughs> I don't understand which they're lucky like there's so much infighting in the Middle East that that they no one's touching them which is cool because my uh, one of my family members is still the Duke of Alter Jordan and it's been like how many generations and he's still the Duke oh I can embrace celibacy very nice are you going to um, I mean, I don't need any more kids, so I can't embrace. I'm celibate now. Mm. I'm, I've become celibate. Oh no, the Duchess of Mergy is now possessed. <laughs> and that trait is congenital. Well... How wait? I don't understand it. How is a excuse me? How is a a being possessed a congenital trait? I don't. Get I have that. no idea. Like imagine that. Like oh, I'm possessed. I'm gonna pass that on to my children. They will also be possessed. Notable guests arrive. Why do I have Adamites as notable guests? They are part of. They are part of one of. Who are they? She is. The grandchild of the prince of Prince Versu, which is who the he is my grand uncle, huh. and she's an Adamite, and so is her husband, and they're both naked. Why? Why? Because they're Adamites. Adamites are naked. <laughs> uh, That's just did you, did the you, way um, it is. Did you put um, censorship on your on your game or no? No. <laughs> Me either. Cause why 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 should we? It's fun to have natural all natural, right? Well, um, is YouTube going to give us a problem for that? 
It shouldn't because it's a game. It's not like it's a. Because uh... I know Twitch doesn't oh, doesn't Twitch like Twitch has a thing where like if it's a part of the game then it's okay. Also, Bob, Bob, you know Bob. Bob's found some. Uh, he sent me a video that was on YouTube that was uh, interesting, um, to say the least. Like it was like, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> um, and right. also on YouTube, there's nipple piercing videos on YouTube. YouTube for women, where like women get their nipple pierced, and that's I'm not. I'm gonna pause the game, by the way. Okay. The Earl of Aflon. Not going well for this man. The Baron is Franconian. It's weird, I have a Franconian Baron. <laughs> Not Irish. Mm. I don't know. It's hard now for me to marry people since I'm too important now and I feel like everything is a step down. Oh my god. Look at you. Hmm. Alright, this might work. Um Well I'm I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? Wait, is he married to someone he's related to? Who is he married to? The King of Alba's married to someone of his how his house. Like <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I do not know how I feel about that. Hmm. My empire is my empire is big, but not big enough. Huh. That's what they all say. Poland, Bavaria. Mm. It's mm. It, it's always a little bit better when it's a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> I think some people would disagree with you on that. Hmm. I want more. <laughs> oh, what musical was that? I cannot remember. Stop being greedy. <laughs> no, never. Like, my character is actually a fortune builder, and he has the avaricious uh, trait as well. Gold, gold, gold. Can there be any higher calling? Any gold more noble than the pursuit of wealth? No. Stop I'm gonna be the Jeff greedy. Bezos of this game. All my subjects will have to pee in bottles anymore. Well, <laughs> From well, now you on. Know, well, Jeff Bezos <laughs> is no longer CEO. Ha ha ha. It's jokes on you. Oh, yeah. Well, people still pee in bottles, so I don't, I don't know if the jokes ha has ended yet. <laughs> Not for them, at least. My god. I'm trying to think, like... I see, I haven't really done anything significant right now, other than the fact that... I did ca I did participate in that holy war, but it's like, I'm just sitting here waiting. Waiting for, uh... I guess... Alright, I'm at war against, um... France. Well, finally! Yeah. A call to war from who?